Hello, everybody. Uh, well, in this short video, I want to explain you uh, the advances we are doing in the design of the joint between both parts of the keyboard. Okay. Uh, well, if this is the keyboard, this is the joint part. Okay. As you can see, it's a part of the product full of electronics. So we have <laughs> a very, very small space for that piece. And it should be a very resistant piece because you have both parts and it has to be a very, very strong joint. Uh, so we are working with this shape and developing like two strong pieces like this with magnets, metal fittings and different things. Okay. In our first keyboard, uh, we already have a, a metal joint, okay? but it's not very, very uh, resistant. Okay? You can feel like it's moving a little. A little. But the feeling is really good. We also have magnets and we are happy with the feeling, but still need more resistance. Okay, so we have started working uh, with different designs and shapes. And this is the aluminum joint. Okay, we, we tried. We have like guides and different things, but it wasn't resistant enough. Okay, because aluminum we, we consider is not the right material for this because there are like a lot of clearance between with, between parts. It was CNC aluminum. So we moved to a nylon design, a uh, technical plastic, very, very, very good for assemblies. And we have a stri we have started uh, changing the shape and doing different things, okay? And prototyping in 3D printing, okay? But uh, we are we are not happy yet with the solution. It's not strong enough. And we are moving and talking with mechanical engineers to get their advice about that. So I hope soon we have a much more resistant solution. Okay. Uh, right now, that's what we have. It's good, but it's not good enough. So next time, I will show you our solution. Thanks for your time. Bye.